Some people are shocked, but others are elated. Coming up, the grand jury makes its decision about Bernhard Getz. The IRT gunman will have complete team coverage, including the sharply divided reaction to the jury's decision. And a deadly shooting outside a Long Island deli, but the trigger man gets off the hook. The story of a family growing up homeless strikes a sympathetic chord in our area. We'll have a follow-up report, and Warner says one of the biggest football record breakers is coming to play in New Jersey. Dr. Frank Field has details on the traveler's advisory in effect on the roads, and all was not what it seemed to be in the movie, and now the man behind the mask says the same is true of his murder charge. Next. Million Dollar Diamond in the Rough, Monday. Channel 2 News at 11 with Rollins Smith, Michelle Marsh, Warner Wolf on Sports, and Dr. Frank Field with weather. In this particular case, this grand jury decided that he used reasonable force when he had reason to believe that he was going to be robbed. He is still wrong. It does not justify him. He is wrong. Well, Getz was defending himself. He was doing no more nor less. The case of Bernhard Getz struck a deep nerve in our area and around the country from the moment he was dubbed the IRT gunman. And tonight, the reaction is even more heated, just hours after a grand jury refused to indict him on attempted murder charges. Good evening. Bernhard Getz will never go to trial for shooting four young men in the subway, but the debate over this case is far from over. We have complete team coverage tonight, beginning with Channel 2's John Slattery. This was a big day, a winning day for Bernhard Getz. A grand jury deciding to indict him only on weapons charges, no indictment for attempted murder. The grand jury decision was announced by Manhattan DA Robert Morgenthau. I think what the grand jury is saying is that in their view, he used, he was justified in taking the action that he did. He used reasonable force to protect himself when he reasonably believed he was going to be robbed. And you can imagine the reaction from Getz's attorney who called his own news conference a short time later. I feel that it is practically an exoneration of our client. I think it is a reflection of the community's attitude toward fear that the people of this city and nation and state are living under. So Getz, who admitted shooting four young men on a subway, shooting two in the back, reportedly stopping only when he ran out of bullets, is not indicted for attempted murder. Today, before the decision, we spoke with the prominent criminal attorney Harold Price Farringer, who put into words the thoughts of many as to why the grand jury did not indict Getz for attempted murder. As I think every person who has been the victim of an attack or frightened, threatened by an attack, sympathizes with him and, and, and in their own minds uh, uh, see themselves doing the same thing and, and feel that his conduct was justifiable. But now, an important question. Just how will the general public, the average strap hanger, read the grand jury's decision to let him off on attempted murder? I hope what they will read is that in this particular case, this specific case, the grand jury of this county, composed of citizens of this county, found that there was justification. I hope they won't read anything else into it. I think, I hope they'll also see that uh, this man has been indicted for a felony for the illegal possession of a loaded gun and faces up to, to seven years in state prison. The decision is a bombshell. Many observers here at criminal court are absolutely shocked by the grand jury's decision. Bernhardt gets shooting four people only to face weapons charges. John Slattery, Channel 2 News. And the reaction is just as strong among New York's top lawmakers. Like most people, the politicians have different opinions about today's grand jury action, but all seem to agree that the Bernhard Getz case has done something to shake up the system. I believe uh, that most people believe that the criminal justice system has uh, broken down and that uh, uh, the uh, rights uh, of uh, society are not uh, adequately protected under the law, under court procedures, under the various things that go uh, into it. And I think uh, that uh, this uh, case gives us the justification to get the legislature and the courts uh, to uh, do a better job. I think there'll be a temptation now for everybody to read into this and to say, well, this is the grand jury saying, in effect, that it's all right to carry a gun and waste people, or try to. Um, that's not responsible. The process has worked. The system has worked. 
I'm going to assume that they did it responsibly. Well, I think um, the Getz situation and the grand jury's action uh, really demonstrates once again quite clearly people's outrage uh, to the kind of criminal behavior that is taking place. Just last week, D'Amato told a Senate committee that even his bodyguards are afraid to ride the subways. And D'Amato said he would be willing to testify about subway crime if Bernhard Getz ever went to trial. Right from the beginning, Getz has said he was intimidated by the four young men he shot. But today, D.A. Morgenthau said no charges have been filed against them. The reason, he says, no evidence. Getz refused to testify before the grand jury. And tonight, one of the four, Daryl Cabey, remains in a coma. His mother's attorney said that she is in shock over the jury's decision because the man who tried to murder her son is going free. But it is not only the victims' families that the emotions are boiling over. As Channel 2's Jane Mitchell reports, voices are rising across the city over the Getz case. Why, I'm uh, empathetic all the way with Mr. Getz. You have to be a victim of a mugging to know, and I've been a victim of a mugging. I've been a victim of a mugging. How can they? And, and I don't want people being able to pull guns out on the subway and able to shoot people down just because... Far from ending the debate of what Bernhard Getz did, the grand jury's decision seemed to intensify people's opinions. This shouting match broke out on the sidewalk tonight as soon as we set up our cameras in front of Bernhard Getz's 14th Street apartment building. If he was a black or a poor person, he wouldn't have been acquitted by that jury. It was because who he was, why they let him off. And that's exactly it all gets down to this. If we had stricter legislation, none of this would have happened. This city can't protect us anymore. We have to protect ourselves. It's not like that. This is not Matt Dillon. The debate was also going on where the whole thing started, in the subways. He had to defend himself. That's right. What's your reaction to the grand jury decision? I think the grand jury did the right thing. I mean, even if his life was threatened, it's not okay to just pull a gun. Suppose somebody who wasn't with those kids got killed. Suppose it was you or me. They're trying to cover it up a little too fast. Time. Outrage was the reaction of some of New York's black leaders. The grand jury made everything that George Wallace and Bilbo fought for a fact.